a daytime makeup tutorial. This is the look that we're going to be going for today, a very natural daytime look. We're going to start off with absolutely no makeup but pre-moisturized. Start by applying your concealer underneath your eyes and pat, don't rub. I like to apply some of my concealer on top of my eyes to also use it as a primer. I get a little bit red around my nose so I'll also use my concealer there to conceal some of the redness. I'll then take a brush and use that to get into the places that I can't reach with my fingers. I also dab a tiny bit over blemishes or red marks that I might have on my face. Now with a brush, I'll apply a cream eyeshadow to use as a base. Now I'll take a sparkly light pink and apply it to my eyelid and concentrate in the corners. See, it's just a tiny bit lighter than the color I used as my base. Now I'm applying a blush colored eyeshadow to my crease. I like to stick with pinks and neutrals for daytime so that they don't look too overdone. After applying the blush color to my crease, I'm going to take a light brown and apply it to the outer edges, creating like a V. This is going to give a little more definition and bring some warmth to my overall look. Now with an angled brush, I will draw on my eyeliner. I like to use MAC's Black Track Cream Eyeliner and brush number 21 from Smashbox. Start by drawing the line very thin on the inner corners and gradually make the line bigger as you move towards the outer edges of your eye. Then extend the line and flare the end up to create the sexy cat eye look. You can see what a difference it makes to my eyes. Remember on the inner corners of your eyes to stay as close to the lash line as you can. A third of the way in from the inner corners is where I start to widen my line. I also like to draw on the inside of my upper lashes. This gives the lashes a fuller look. I'll do the same to my bottom lashes with whatever color is left on my brush. We don't want it too dramatic because this is a daytime look. Sometimes my eyes have a red or glassy look to them, so I'll use just one drop in each eye of Visine. Now it's time to define your brows. I like to use a powder and start on the arch of my brow. See, so it's still the shape of my brow, but just more defined, and it doesn't look like it was tattooed on. Now with the pencil, I'll fill in a few spots that the powder couldn't cover. Now I'll take a brush and just blend everything together to give it a softer look. Now that I'm done with my eyes, minus my mascara, I'll take a pressed powder and set my concealer. This will also help absorb oil and give a more flawless look to your face. It's now time for bronzer. I like starting with the cheeks, concentrating right under the cheekbones. This gives your face a more chiseled look and makes your cheekbones look more defined. Also, don't forget to blend towards your ears and underneath your jawline. Now for blush. Make a slight smile and apply it to the cheekbone area, blending up towards your hairline and temples. I found a love, sweet as 
as can be. One. I like to apply a second blush of a bright pink right to the apples of my cheeks. It's a great contrast to the bronzer and gives you a really romantic, youthful look. Don't be scared of the bright pink color. You can see here it gives just the right amount of color. Sometimes to blend the colors together, I'll use a super light pink powder puff like this one from YSL. Decided to add a little bit of shimmer right underneath my brows on the brow bone to give a little bit of a highlight. Now for mascara. I like to wiggle back and forth at the base of my lashes and then brush to the tip. I also do the opposite side of my lashes as sometimes eyeshadow falls and gets on them. Make sure to really concentrate on the outer edges of your lashes. This gives your lashes a much fuller look. Now for the bottom lashes. I wiggle back and forth really gently just like the top until the lashes get stuck together. Then I'll use the tip of the brush to separate. This technique works really good for me as I like them to be really noticeable. You can see here how I'm wiggling back and forth really gently. And then I take the tip of the brush and go along the lashes to separate, define, and place them. Now for lips. Since this is a day look, I'm using a neutral pink lip stain. It's not too matte or overly glossy, making our day look just right. Now for my favorite and most important part, curling your lashes. Some people do this before the mascara, but I like to do it after, as I feel it curls them better and makes them stay longer. Make sure to clean off all excess mascara from the curler so that your lashes don't get stuck to it and pulled out. Once all of your lashes are in the curler, clamp down as close to the lash line as possible without catching your skin. Then squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Repeat it two to three times and then slowly release the curler. And voila, your lashes are curled and almost touching your eyebrows. Now we're done. Check yourself to make sure no mascara fell after curling your lashes and that your concealer and blush are all blended together. Thank you so much for checking out my makeup tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Please be sure to check out my blog at jenniferstano.blogspot.com Music by Better Than Ezra, I Just Knew And by Crosby Loggins, Only One